fate has smiled on these teams once, which team will catch your eye again in this second round matchup between the Akron Zips and the Oregon Ducks? This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Ducks are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for them tonight, Dick? Yeah, a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. First of all, play it your style. Don't get roped in and doing things that you normally don't do. You must be in control. Second, take care of the rock. No turnovers, baby. Turnovers only lead to easy scores the other way. And lastly, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. Goes out of play. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Gave it up. Simmons handles the pass. Picks off the pass. The point guard receives the ball. Time to pick up the defense here now. Look to get it to the inside. He makes the block. Tickles a twine. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. They work the perimeter. Shivers receives the pass. On the dribble, gives it up, and now they'll bring it up. The ball goes out of bounds. Gave it up. Spencer handles the feed. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Sets the screen for his teammate. Makes it. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Trying to go inside. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Dumps it in. The skip pass is picked off. He pushes it, keeps the dribble as they regroup. He shoots from downtown. Can't get it to go. He buries it. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. He uses the shot fake from left of the circle. Great shot. <laughs> Trying to feed inside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He puts up the three ball. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. There's a bad pass right to the defender.
announcer is animated and ready to go. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. Way off target. Tries for two. And the ball goes out of play. With a rejection. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. First shot is good. Second shot, no good. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Dickie's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Looking for a good shot. Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. And they come with a double team to stop it. He strips him clean. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. And he missed. Dump it inside. Thinks about the shot. For two, and off the mark. Bell fakes the shot. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. The Ducks have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Tries a three. He gets the shot to fall. Side. Unloads. Gets it to go. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Had a momentary look from three point land. The crowd really admires this young man. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. The ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Fronts in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us.
goes out of bounds. Everybody's happy, including the school mascot. Well, the mascot's doing a little dance, baby, celebrating, a lot of jubilation. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. The Ducks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. the perimeter. Steel go up the other way, get a layup. Working it around the perimeter, pump fakes. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from left of the circle, off the rim and no good. Got the shot if he wants it. He shoots from long range. Oregon is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the dribble, gives it up. Nice low post play, good entry to the box. And run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Layup sack. I'm telling you, Brad, you can have a field day against these guys. Why don't you put a uniform on? Nobody within 10 feet of an easy basket again. I mean, unbelievable. It's blowout city. Gets it back out. He shoots from outside. Way off target. And they get the turnover. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job of swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. They get out on the break. Tries for two. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, I'm down here by the losing team's bench. Their coaching staff is reminding them, look, it's just your nerves. Relax. It's only the first half. This team feels once they've settled in, they can take over here in the first half. All right, thanks, Aaron. He puts it up. Oh, yes. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Gave it up. Stolen away. They work it around the perimeter. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? On the dribble, gives it up. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. So is the defense, and they do a nice job. They push it up on the break. He gets it to go. Too much. That's a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Here's a flash from the post up high for two. He buries the shot. <laughs> Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Moving it around the perimeter. Robs him of the ball. There's the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries one from three-point land. Oh, 
poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Ain't no stopping him right now from the arc, Dick. You better believe it, baby. They're making him pay from out there. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. And Dick, this is just playing good defense and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They work the perimeter. Looks at the three. Oregon are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I thought he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. They get it out into transition. Goes up for two. Let's watch the move as he works his man and out of fadeaway jumper. Up and in. On the outside. Here's a double team. He shoots from the top of the circle. Misses from three. They're going to give him the basket and the foul. That's huge and one for the senior, baby. Not checking him out. Who would have thought with the cheerleaders? Come on. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders. That's awesome, Brad. The Ducks go to the line for the first time in this game. He sinks it. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Gave it up. Set that screen away. The kick out. Let's it fly. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. Akron are a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense which is what we're seeing right now. He goes to the line for the first time. Free throw is good. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Steals a pass. <laughs> Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Hey, one basket, Brad. If they can get some points here, the crowd will be extremely happy.
He shoots from the top of the key. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Here's the offensive drop step and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. STOP, this place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. And he'll kick it back outside. And he got it. Let's take a look at that last hoop. the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For two. In and out. They'll work it around the arc. From way outside. Akron are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Buried it. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. off tries to get the D to bite the pressure that basketball help one another communicate they run it up into transition in the paint goes up for two intercepted long down court pass he gets it to fall. For three, he gets the bucket. Picks off the lazy pass. Shot clock is dead. He intercepts it. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. <laughs> Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you what, we're going to be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. At the half, the Zips lead by six. It's been a tight one thus far, Mr. Vitale. What play do you think set the tone here tonight? The senior shot then the half is still fresh in my mind, baby. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. 
Oregon has turned the ball over a lot more than normal in that first half. They're very sloppy in moving the ball tonight. And as a result, turnovers are piling up like dirty laundry. All right, Dick, we're going into the second half, and, you know, this gets down to somebody's going home and somebody gets to play on. Why right, isn't that a shame, Brad? Because both these clubs are playing so well. They're such quality teams. But it's going to come down to at the end. I think you better be able to convert on that free throw line. And you've got to get some easy baskets. I think every basket has been a struggle offensively. they got to find a way to get some conversions in transition. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He's going nowhere. Oh, Ball no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. There's a double team waiting there. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He shoots from left of the circle. Way off target. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Kicks it out. A whistle and a foul, and the coach not happy in the sideline. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crap. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Great play to take that to the basket. Ball handler's in trouble. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. The power forward takes the pass. Nice fake. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Number one goes for the aggressive steal from the tightly guarded position. You got to be careful when you go for an aggressive steal like that, Brad. If you miss, you could be in trouble. There's the trap. Stolen. Trying to run the other way. For the bucket. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Good job defensively. They just won't give many open. Pressure in the basketball. Stolen away. And back they come the other way. He gets the shot to fall. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? He draws a foul. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Inside. He tries the three ball. 
He drains it. The Zips are up by 12. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys that... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And the ball goes out of play. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you what, though, that leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Goes up for two. He makes the shot. They're working around the perimeter. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. The small forward gets the ball. He hits it. There they come with a double team to stop it. Takes away the pass. Look at that spacing. The shooting guard with the ball. He shoots from right of the circle. That was nice. Makes the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here on transition, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He launches the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people into foul trouble. Second one, no good. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Picked out of the air. They work the perimeter. He fires away. Tickles a twine. They'll work it around the arc. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Tries for two. He nails the bucket. The Ducks are behind by seven. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He shoots from the elbow. Rims out. The 
Looking for a good shot. Here's a double team. Steals the ball. It's a fast break possibility for two. Oregon have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Takes away the pass. Trying to draw some contact. And he scores despite the hack. The Zips are up by seven. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. The point guard gets the pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. The point guard takes the feed. He fires it up. Rims out. For two. Off the rim and no good. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He'll go to the line. Makes the first shot. Just like in practice. He hits the third. For the deuce. And he missed. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Got to give that five-second call to the defense. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. The Ducks can't get things going right here. Emotionally, they look like they're spent. They're going to have to turn things around fast, Brad. Double team now, bad angle. Picks off the lazy pass. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Up fake. There's the trap. Right in the circle. Way off target. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Looking for a good shot. From downtown. Buries it. come with a double team to stop it he takes it away fast break possibility coming for the bucket up and in let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us Aaron well Brad and Dick the crowd certainly hope for a closer matchup one side of the arena is celebrating in the stands and the other one is just sitting there in complete disbelief guys all right thanks Aaron
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. post sinks the shot Dick I think there's a mismatch in the post this may be a good opportunity for them Brad there's a double team waiting there fake oh and he's not going to be happy with that call well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. On the outside. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Working it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. He intercepts it. Pushes it. Picks off the pass. Poor judgment results in a backcourt violation. You gotta take care of the rock, baby. Coming inside. For the deuce, he puts it in with contact and all. Terry look from three-point land. He shoots from the elbow. Look at that space. From three-point range. Rims out. And he'll kick it back outside. He launches a three. Yes! This one is shaping up to be a barn burner, Dick. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. On the dribble, gives it up. He strokes it, makes it. block but opted against it he shoots off the rim and no good goes up for two here's the toss back out from the post I tell you coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer He fires away. Rims out. Wide open for the shot. Pulls the trigger. He gets the bucket to fall. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He shields himself from the screen and scores the basket. Picked off. 
gave it up. Steals the pass. They work it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. Great defense. For the bucket. Easy one. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. The lane. out of play. Isn't that something? He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. From the top of the key, knocks it down. Watch the replay coming up. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the pick. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession here, timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. the outside defensively doing a great job down there and he's winning that battle day I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out and that's how he's winning that battle great pressure great double team really explosive he shoots from downtown timeout's been called so let's check in with Eric Brad and Dick with limited time remaining the coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions what they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference guys thanks Aaron do you think they switch things around here for the moment Dick? I don't think so but we'll wait and see Brad Felt with a block. Jumped in front to take it away. Look how speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Yeah, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. Right, Brad. They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. And the clock stopped with a foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, locking shots, opening shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Makes the second shot. We've got a timeout on the floor.
players got a much needed breather with that time out. Nine seconds on the shot clock. The lead is up to eight. They could be starting to pull away here, Dick. He shoots from long range. He buries it. Shot clock is dead. And yet another foul. Nobody likes this point in the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. He can't get one to fall. A bucket here will make this a two-possession game. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. Foul them early and give your team a chance. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. Makes the front end of the one and one. Hits the second. They really need a score here to turn this into a one possession game. He tries the three ball. It's good. And the clock stopped with a foul. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. He makes the second. Timeout, George. Hey, can we get a drum roll, Mr. Nestler? This one's going down to the last ticks, baby. ready to start again. It's a three-point deficit. And that can change in a matter of seconds, baby. Hold on. He comes away with it. They move it into the front court. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. This is the second. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were the coach of this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. We get ready to bounce back into action here. Just puts it up there. Drains it. Nick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well. And, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, I tell you, won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Akron is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids are looking to go all the way, baby. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.